Okay, so this is the tool that I was talking before. It's the you can get it on dpk.stargrab.com and it's called dpk paint the form. And I already have installed it here and I open it. So basically you can smooth the delta. That's the trick here. So this is a delta and uh, I mean the, the plane shape it's a delta it's a difference between the original position and the new position and with this what you can do is smooth it and average between the surrounding edges or points and so where you had some stretching or some compression that it's the average is more than the other you it will balance that and you have something similar when you use the default Maya uh, tools you have uh, one to smooth deltas also in the in the um, this Maya but this only works when it's already the blend shape inside there and honestly because the way we work here uh, and shapes extracts the geometry and you have like a separate piece of geometry that is the one that you sculpt so that's the reason because you can use any tool and um, it doesn't work with this because it doesn't understand that it's a blank shape it's just another regular object so when you try to smooth delta there you don't know what where to smooth here because you can set a target object you can tell okay this is the the object with the original uh like let's say um distance between the edges or between the um the vertex so you can you can smooth other uh like blank shape target based on that one okay so stop talking and show me the thing okay so first thing open the the tool you of course if you need to know how to install and everything please read the documentation and well you have a very very nice example here by the way okay so i have my geo root here this is the one that we use as a reference to build everything so we can take the head and make it here choose okay so that's it we don't need even to see this one and now we can enter the tool and start smoothing but first we need to hear that already act, uh, apply the the plane shape we need to go to the one and then tweak so we go to edit mode again you can see this green lines that is crossing here in the maya okay now we have that so the only thing that we need to do is enter the tool and we have this brush similar to the artisan brush and we can go here and you will see that I can smooth the delta and look at that it's trying to oops no to recover the original delta that we have around the points so it's trying to balance of the positions it's not like super perfect i will say here for instance it's not ideal this but in, in general it does a really good really good work so i'm just gonna smooth it a little bit a little bit and then enter again just with smaller radius on the brush i'm just gonna recover that delta there and of course if you want to go and do it production ready not tutorials also you need to adjust this stuff by hand and be very uh, I would say cautious how you move the things but for me for this tutorial I think it's good and the good thing is the new shapes you have this mirror here so um, maybe I think I'm not gonna use that much the ABC tools that I was using before so probably this is one of the advantages when you upgrade software with new features okay perfect so I'm gonna exit and now we have something that is much more consistent with the previous um, like um, detail that we had there okay so next next one so just gonna save this one and go to the next frame and i need to do the same so just go to edit mode 
and here here I have a like hotkey so I want to use volume here so means it's gonna it's gonna move in volume so both lips at the same time and we can also use this uh, instead of grab and slide we have one it's grab and twist so with control I can twist you can see here I can twist this back so it just can go to strength bigger and with control and left click in this case I'm using the my Wacom that's something I didn't comment but yeah you better get a Wacom I'm using the probably the cheapest one you can get and the old model you can get it even second hand like super cheap it's worth the money of course if you can get a better one good for you uh, but I, honestly I, I, I get this one because I really like it and I think I showed it before is this model and, uh, and yeah it's, I love it it's my model of choice I, I have another one that it's newer and because it has Bluetooth for the laptop and so on but I like more this one even the, the expensive ones uh, I'm not such a big fan but yeah I guess if you draw or do other stuff maybe you want to do something here and to be honest to be honest here with you on this um, right now I'm going through this without changing the base skinning because I just want to go through this, this workshop but if I this model was a production model I will go back before this and adjust this because you can see here this this smoothing it's not really really good so you have some parts here that are stay and here stretch and here it stays consistent so this is something I I really don't don't like that much and now here what I'm trying to do is to get something better again I'm just gonna pull here some volume out and again if you're watching this and you know what I mean if you know how to model properly you're gonna probably laugh on me and yeah for instance um, we use a very similar technique for uh, Lupin the movie but the blend shapes I, I give that and pass to the art direction and modeling team and they did a really really nice uh, model so I, I get that model and extract it again from with shapes and apply it to this position so that's the reason because probably uh, production models will look much better because you have a team of people that have expertise in each area and of course teamwork is always much better but yeah I think at this point you can see where I'm going with all this and the good thing is you can change I mean this anytime so I can go change my smoothing go back re recheck the um, the blend shapes and so on and here this is kind of rocky you can see I change tool also all the time so I'm not staying with one tool for all the process And here, this is something that you need to take care of. Like, this is going there, it's more or less. And by the way, this this is my look like that. It's a yeah, very Jim Carrey style thing, very unnatural. And now we can just go here, maybe just let me see, just recover a little bit that area. Okay, so we have this one, and you can see it's a big difference. I still don't like too much the details around here, 
it's, it's, it's quite ugly but you can see how much changed from this original one to the corrective one and it looks like smiley okay so this is mouth up okay so I'm gonna stop here the video and for the next week I'm gonna put some homework so if you can finish try to finish all the the blend shapes that we have on this range of motion I will do the same on my side and next video will be next week where I will go over and check out all the blend shapes and try uh, like to deconstruct what I did and probably I'm thinking I'm gonna go off camera and adjust a little bit the skinning and so on so we have something better and yeah you can probably get some information from there also okay so that's it for this week see you next one bye bye